all grade 2! We are here to have our video class number 30. Do you remember the number 30? The number 30 is this one that I'm going to put right here in the middle. Okay, so before we start, let's talk a little bit about the weather. How is the weather today? Looking from my window, the weather today is sunny. Mm, and how is the weather today? Looking from your window, aí da sua janela, is it rainy? Rainy or is it cloudy? Or sunny, has a beautiful sun. Mm? How is the weather today? Tell me. Mm? What about the day of the week? What day of the week is today? If yesterday was Monday, remember that we had a live class? If yesterday was Monday, today is today is Tuesday. That's right. Monday, Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Very good. Now I want you to tell me how are you feeling today? Mm? Tell me how you are feeling. Are you feeling sleepy or tired? Or are you feeling excited and happy? I am feeling happy, okay? Guys, today we are going to have two parts in our class, okay? The first part, a primeira parte, will be a science class, okay? And the second part, we are going to use the student book and the, and the workbook, okay? Good? So now I want you to take your science book, okay? Peguem o livro de science, all right? And open it on page 24, okay? Open your science book on page 24. We are going to read all together, nós vamos ler all together the page 24. Let's go! Okay, guys, so this is the page 24 of your science book, okay? Let's read together. Vamos ler juntos, okay? Read together with me. Leiam junto comigo. Dr. Sonia Ortega. Read together. Dr. Sonia Ortega liked to look for insects when she was young. When she grew up, she wanted to learn more about other animals. Now, Dr. Ortega studies oysters in the Atlantic Ocean. She wants to know where oysters grow the best. All right. So, Dr. Sonia Ortega, ela gostava de insetos. Gostava de procurar insetos quando ela era jovem. All right? And when she grew up, ela queria aprender mais sobre os outros animais, about other animals. And now, Dr. Ortega studies oysters. All right? As ostras in the Atlantic Ocean. She wants to know where oysters grow the best. Onde elas crescem melhor. Ok, guys? Have you ever seen an oyster? Vocês já viram uma ostra? Where? Onde? Tell me. So, guys, insects and oysters are animals, right? We have many types of animals. And Dr. Sonia Ortega... She studies where oysters grow the best, ok? Ela estuda onde as ostras crescem melhor, ok? So, let's think about animals that we usually see next to our house. Que a gente vê normalmente perto da nossa casa. Think about. Hmm? Let's read right here. Look for animals near your home. Drop 
pictures of them. So let's think about what animals can we see near our house? What animals? Quais animais nós podemos ver perto da nossa casa? Or what animals do we have in our house? Quais que a gente tem na nossa casa? Hmm? Think about, okay, the animals near our house and let's draw it. Okay, so take a white paper, um papel branco. Okay, to draw the animals you see near your house. Os animais que você vê perto da sua casa. Okay, so take a white paper. All right, and draw it. Guys, here I'm giving you some examples of animals that we can find near our house. Ok, de animais que nós podemos achar próximos da nossa casa. We can find cats, dogs, butterfly, bee, ants, right? And a lot more, muito mais, right? So, here you have some examples that you can draw, que vocês podem desenhar. Ok? Now I'm going to give you some time. A teacher vai dar um tempo para vocês, ok? For you to draw the animals you see next to your house. Os animais que vocês veem perto da casa de vocês. Ok? You are going to do a beautiful drawing. Um lindo desenho. You can start. Podem começar. Alright, guys, so now we finish the science part of our class, ok? Nós terminamos a parte de science, alright? Now, let's take a look in our workbook, ok? We are going to write a letter to a friend, ok? Vamos escrever uma carta to a friend, para um amigo, alright? So, remember in our live class... Last week, that we saw how to write a letter, que nós vimos como escrever uma carta. Ok, so we are going to write another one. Ok, vamos escrever outra. Ok, so now you are going to put your science book away. Ok, you can close your science book, podem fechar o science book. Ok, 
and take your workbook, okay? You are going to open your workbook on page 49 and 50, okay? So open your workbook on pages 49 and 50, okay? So the pages 49 and 50 are these ones, okay? So this is here. Writing workshop. Write a letter. Escreva uma carta. You will write a letter to a friend. Tell your friend what you do at school. But, as we are not at school, guys, como nós não estamos na escola, we are going to tell your friend what you do at home. Okay? Let me read to you this example here. Ok? A teacher vai ler para você esse exemplo. So, the first thing you have to write is the date. Remember? A data. So, May 3rd, 2011. Ok? Dear Maria, how are you? What do you do at school? I read books, we sing. Today, I will use a computer. Your friend, May. So, one, pre-write. What do you do at school? So, here, write a list. Things I do at school. Nós vamos riscar o school. Look, we are going to do like this. Ok? And write home. Vamos escrever home. Ok? Like this. Ok? Então, a question vai ficar. What do you do at home? Write a list. Escreva uma lista. Things I do at home. Coisas que eu faço em casa. So, before we write the letter on page 50, we are going to make a list, ok? It's like we separate our ideas, nós separamos as nossas ideias, before we write the letter. Okay, so we are going to make a list here of things you do at home. Ok, vamos fazer uma lista de coisas que você faz em casa. Alright, I'm going to do one to show you as an example, para mostrar para você como um exemplo. But you can write, você pode escrever as coisas que você faz em casa. Ok, guys, I'm going to give you some minutes. Okay, to do it. So, you can write a list of three things, okay? De três coisas que você faz at home. That you do at home, okay? I wrote here a list, okay? A teacher escreveu aqui uma lista. With three things, três coisas. Watch TV, study, and eat a delicious snack. Ok? You can write different things, ok? Podem escrever coisas diferentes. Ok? So, you have to write three things that you do at home. Três coisas que vocês fazem em casa. Ok? I'm going to give you a minute to do it. Before we put our ideas from the list to the letter, let's watch this video, ok? Vamos assistir a este vídeo 
to understand the parts of the letters, all right? Pay attention. Alright guys, so now that we already separated our ideas, que nós separamos as nossas ideias right here, we are going to look at the page 50, ok? This page right here. Write a letter. Use the ideas in your list. Ok, so we are going to use the ideas from our list, ok? As ideias da nossa lista. What do we have to put first in our letter? O que nós colocamos primeiro? What's the first thing we write in the letter? The date. That's right. So, here it's going to be our letter. Okay? And here is the space to write the date. That's good. All right. Let's start the letter. Dear, here will be the name of the person who is going to get your letter. O nome da pessoa que vai receber a sua carta. Ok? I'm going to give you an example. Dear Luisa. That's just an example, ok, guys? So, dear and the name of the person who is going to get the letter. O nome da pessoa que vai receber. How are you? Today I will watch TV, ok? I will study and eat a delicious snack. So, I put all my ideas from here, from my list, to the letter, aqui na, na carta, ok? So, today I will watch TV, I will study and eat a delicious snack. Ok? Você vai fazer, you are going to do, de acordo com a sua lista. Your list. Ok? Use your ideas, as suas ideias. Your friend, Milena. It's just an example, ok? Here will be your name, o seu nome. Your friends and your name here, o seu nome. Alright, guys, I'm going to give you a minute to write your letter, ok? Para escrever a sua carta, alright?
Okay, everyone. Now that we finish our letter, we are going to use the editing checklist, okay, to see if everything is correct, okay, para ver se está tudo correto. So, look at your letter, okay, and see if each sentence starts with a capital letter. Se cada frase está começando com a capital letter, com a letra maiúscula. Look at your letter and see. For example, here is where the sentence starts, right? Today I will watch TV. So, watch, it doesn't have to start with a capital letter, okay? But... Here, it's a new sentence, right? So, we have to put in capital letter. So, look at your letter and see if each sentence starts with a capital letter. Okay? The next thing we are going to check is if each sentence ends with a period. Remember the period? O ponto final, that's right. We have to check if each sentence ends with the period. Se cada frase ends with the period. Let's see here in my sentence. Period. I will study and eat a delicious snack. Period. Ok? So, each sentence has to finish with a period. That's right. Ok, guys? It was everything correct? Estava tudo correto? Tell me. If it wasn't with the period, you have to add. Ok? Vocês têm que adicionar o ponto. Or add the capital letter. Alright? Alright, great too. Now, we finish the two parts of our class. Okay? The science part. Okay? Remember that we draw, we made a draw of the animals we can see around our house, near our house. Okay? Os animais que a gente pode ver perto da nossa casa. The cats, the dogs, the bee. What's the sound of the bee? Zzz. Is that the sound of the bee? Mm, okay. So, the bee, also the butterfly. Okay, if you already saw a butterfly around your house, next to your house, you can draw a beautiful butterfly. Alright? So, we did the science part and the workbook part, ok? Lá no workbook that we wrote a letter to a friend. Now, before we finish our class, I want you to think about, ok? A teacher quer que vocês pensem, alright? In something you do to have fun, ok? What do you do to have fun? Something you like to do, that you have fun doing it. Ok? Algo que vocês se divirtam. What do you do to have some fun? I want you to think about that, ok? And make a beautiful drawing of you doing something that you do to have fun. Algo que vocês fazem para se divertir. Ok? So, you are going to make a beautiful drawing and also write. Ok? Escrevam o que vocês fazem para se divertir. A beautiful drawing, right? Ok? Because I want to know what you do to have fun. A teacher quer saber. Alright, guys? So, you are going to send me the picture of your drawing and also send me the picture of your letter. Ok? Da sua carta. Ok, guys? Now, I'm going to give you some minutes. Ok? A teacher vai dar alguns minutos for you to make this beautiful drawing. Ok? If you need more time, se vocês precisarem de mais tempo, you can click on pause, ok? Para pausar o vídeo. 
Alright guys, and then you can finish your beautiful drawing and after take a picture to send it to me, okay? Guys, before we finish our video class, let's observe a little bit our brine shrimp eggs, okay? So this thing is the air compressor, okay? Um compressor de ar that we put here inside, okay? But now I'm going to turn off to observe, okay? Okay, now that I turn it off, que a teacher desligou, we can see it better, right? So, look. Okay, let's look here. All right. We are going to draw this in day two. Okay, guys, in day two. Ok, you can pause the video, vocês podem pausar o vídeo, ok, so you can see it better, para vocês poderem ver melhor, ok, you can draw like this, ok, desenhem lá no day two, no dia 2, or like this, ok, we can see that the eggs are tiny, right? And have a brown color. Okay? What else can we see? O que mais nós podemos ver? We can see that some eggs float and some eggs sink, right? Alguns ovos flutuam. Ok, in other eggs afundam. Is that right? Ok, guys, tomorrow I'm going to record again to show you, ok? 
So today you are going to draw in day two. Okay? You can also send me the picture in Clips Color. Okay? I want to see your drawing. Vocês podem mandar para teacher lá no Clips Color. Ok? Eu quero ver o desenho de vocês. And that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoy our class, ok? Stay safe, stay home, wash your hands all the time, ok? I miss you so much. Bye bye, grade 2!